Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emmanuel Aino. Today I'll be showing you how to run WhatsApp ad in 2023. The best approach that you can follow to run WhatsApp ad, okay? Then, you know, and if you uh, if you don't have WhatsApp business, they want to use your normal number to run WhatsApp ad, then I'm going to be showing you how you can do that is as simple as ABC. I'm going to be showing you right away. Now, this is going to be in two parts. This will be going to be uh, part one. If you have a WhatsApp, you know, you connect your WhatsApp business and you connect your stuff. I mean, you connect your your ad manager to your WhatsApp. But you, what if you don't have a WhatsApp? I mean, you don't have a, your WhatsApp is not connected to uh Facebook uh, page or something, they still want to run WhatsApp. Uh, you know, WhatsApp uh, is very uh, cheap, okay? So that means you have to subscribe and wait for the second video. I'm going to release that in the middle of that day. So this one is if you have your WhatsApp connected to your Facebook page. So now, you have different objectives. Either you chose traffic or you choose sales. If, you can, if I chose sales, you can see if I scroll down here, you can see that Messenger, Instant, uh, Instagram, and WhatsApp, okay? Then if I choose traffic to, you can see, I see I have access to this, Messenger and WhatsApp, you can see on traffic, but lead, you have Instagram, Messenger, Instagram, and WhatsApp, but traffic, the user, you have Messenger and WhatsApp, and traffic is very cheap, it's very cheap, okay? So we're gonna be, you can use any of these two, right? So let's, Click on traffic, the eat of continue. So this depends on any product, any service you want to sell. The main goal is you are selling people to your WhatsApp, okay? That is the main goal of this. Then as usual, this is how I do my thing. All I have to do is I have to rename this from a new traffic campaign. To whatever I want it to be. So I love printing, remove this new guy, okay? Then I want to say traffic campaign, what whatever I want to uh, sell, okay? I want to sell maybe shoe. This can be anything, it can be bag, what's up, what's up, okay? Traffic campaign, shoe, what's up. So this to give you description, like descriptive that you'll be able to understand. Okay, because if you have on much of ad, you'll be able to okay, tell which one is one. So what that is what I have to do here, okay? Then I have to come here. I want to eat on next. Now that I'm here, I want to rename this guy to to traffic. Then I want to put it shoe, name of the products, then what's up. Okay, shoot the name of the product, the WhatsApp. Now here, if you scroll down here, can you see? Send traffic to WhatsApp. Okay, if this is what I want to do, I'm just, I'm just going to select it. If this website is select, so I'm sending traffic to WhatsApp. It's as simple as that. Then I have to do is I want to select the page. Now, the page you're going to be selecting must be connected to WhatsApp. If you don't have that page connected to WhatsApp, is not going to show up, okay? Can you see uh, not connected, this particular not connected, not connected. Can you see this guy? Connected. Can you see not connected? Uh, connected. Can you see that? You can see this one connected to this. So now, which one do, you, do I want to use? So first thing is make sure your WhatsApp number is connected to your page. So I want to select this guy, okay? You can see, connect WhatsApp to this. That is it. And it's as simple as ABC. So then after that, then how much do I want to spend on daily? I love using daily budget. Then I want to spend 5,000, okay? Then I want to scroll down. I want to start immediately. Then I want to now Select the location that I want. If now I'm selling shoe, 
If my product is for people in Lagos, I want to change this to Lagos. If the product is for people in Abuja, I want to change this to Abuja, okay? Or you have your store in a specific location, okay? Maybe Lekki, maybe uh, uh, Wusetu, you know, maybe BGC. You just want to make sure you target the area. So for example, I'm going to eat on this addict because this product, the owner of this store, you know, is in specific place in Nigeria. Let's say this person is in uh, Lekki. I want to do Lekki, okay? But if this person can sell to any place in Nigeria or any place in Lagos, I will just change it to Lagos. So this ad will be reaching to people in this Lagos. Now, I have to make sure that I select Lagos State Nigeria, okay? Lagos State Nigeria. So I have to make sure I select that. So instead of targeting everybody in, in Nigeria, I want to target people specific in this location. Then make sure that you, you select people living in or within this location. You want to come here, you want to say people living in this location. You want to make sure that these people, they are actually in this location. Make sure you select that. It's very important to do. Then after that, you want to select the age group that you want, okay, depends on your product and your service, okay? If it is real estate, you know, you're determining people like, you know, 35 and above. But it depends on the product. Here, I want to sell shoe. Then I want to come here. I want to come for, you know, look for like 25. 25 to 40. To 40 or 45, it depends. And this also depends on the type of shoe you are selling, okay? So then the gender, now depend on the shoe. The shoe you are selling is it for male or female. If the shoe is specifically for male, change its gender to male. But if it's for female, make sure you change it to female. But if the unisex, I don't know what type of shoe is that, make sure it's selected. But this particular shoe is strictly for men. Then I want to select men. So my ad, my ad will be targeted to men only. Please, if you are selling something for men, you don't want to select all gender. Because female are going to look at it and they might not take action. Very important. Then you want to do this. I want to leave it at advanced placement. Advanced placement. Okay? So when I have that, all I have to do next is hit on next. It's as simple as that. All right, so we're here. I'm still going to do the same thing here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to traffic ads. Then I want to change it to um, shoe, name of the product, then WhatsApp. Okay, WhatsApp. So then uh, the page is selected. Then I want to now eat on, okay, manual upload. Then single, if you're selling one product, okay, just say, single for that specific product but if you have multiple of them you might want to choose a carousel make sure you design your your products i mean your product image you've done that okay so i want to come here now select add image if you want to use video maybe you have a slideshow of the shoes or you have video for the shoes then you can use that as well so i want to eat on this upload Then I'm going to look for where I have image of the shoe. Then you want to use it. So this thing is straightforward. Then I want to use this particular guy here, which is main designer leather Italia shoe. So I want to use this particular guy. If you can see this uh, red, 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 it's Facebook is telling you that, hey, your picture is very small. Okay, that is why you are seeing all this red here. So if you are seeing something like this, make sure you use big size. You can see Facebook review all images. Make sure you use the right image. You don't try to play them. Okay. Make sure you use the right images. I mean image or images. Okay. So I want to select this guy. Then I want to eat on next. Can you see? You can see the original. This is what I have as original. Okay. And if your original fit in, you can go ahead with it. One on one recommended. Okay. Which is still okay. Fine. With the type of product I'm promoting, then I want to eat on next. 
Then I have all these guys, okay? Then I want to eat on done. Here now, let me eat on done, okay? You just want to come down a little bit. You want to change this to your primary test, okay? Change this to your primary test to, you know, describe the shoe, okay? So primary test, I just want it to be like this, okay? Then, here now, you can just chat with us. I cannot say order. This heading now, I can change it to order instead of chat with us. But if your own is about, you want, they want to get more info about your product, then you want to uh, use chat with us or whatever you want to use. Italian, okay, let me just leave it that way. So, then I want to change the call to action here. Call to action. Call to action. I want to. Can you see call to action? It says send WhatsApp message. I want to change it to either shop now or order now. You can see order now. Change it. If you're selling physical products and you want people to buy, just use order now. So let them know. You can see uh, order. Okay. Uh, this order, you can come here again. Where is that? Uh, this guy, headline, let's see, order, no, let me just see again, latest fashion main Italian shoe. Okay, then I want to come, look at the guy, look at how it looks here, latest fashion main Italian shoe, order now, okay, then you have your description, and that is it. Don't want to complicate things. Now, if you see something like this, like error like this, okay, then that means there is issue. So all you have to do is you have to what? To fix it. Now, look at it. Creative and objective mismatch. Please make sure that an objective is selected and choose a creative type that match this objective you selected. Creative and objective mismatch. Now look at this. Look at this. Now pay attention because you will fix this uh, stuff. Now look at it. I say order now. Then if I now change it to where is the guy? Send us WhatsApp message. Now watch what happened. Voila! What happened? This guy disappeared. This guy do what? Disappear. Now again, I'm going to show you again. Come here. I change it to what? In fact, let me change to shop now. So come here. You see what the algorithm will say. Let's wait for some time. Can you see the error is back? Creative and objective mismatch. Please make sure that an objective is selected and choose a creative type that match the objective you've selected. So, should in case you have it, you have to monitor what is going on. You have to be alert and attentive to your, you know, to this environment, so that you won't be having issue with your other account. So now, what they are telling us that we can use this, then we cannot say, okay, send us one some message if that is what you want to, you know, this will set, uh, you solve this issue for us. You can see, send us. WhatsApp message and this guy is going to change to WhatsApp and everything is fine. Please make sure you pay attention to errors. So once you have this, I click on publish, then you want to duplicate and test other objectives. What I mean by objectives is you want to duplicate and test maybe this one you select people in Lagos, maybe you want to select people in Abuja. I have the video already. Go and watch this video if to know. I mean, how to like okay, test ad, test your ad. Okay, so watch the video. You see the link, watch that video. Now, the next question is what if you don't have WhatsApp business and you don't have a WhatsApp connected to your uh to your page? So, what are you going to do? Or maybe clients may feel they want to run or want to run for your product. So now in next step, I'm going to be showing you how you can do that without you connecting WhatsApp 
to your next I mean to your uh, to your uh, to your page then how you can run profitable WhatsApp ad so go ahead and watch the part two of this video immediately see you in next video if you like this video hit on subscription and notification bell to be the first to get next video that I'll be releasing